Programs normally seen at this time will not be seen today, so that we may bring you the following special program from ABC Sports. From the Milwaukee Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, ABC Sports brings you live and in color NBA basketball. Today, the world champion New York Knicks with Willis Reed meet for the first time this season the Milwaukee Bucks with Lou Alcindor. NBA basketball is being brought to you by all state insurance companies for insurance to protect your car, your home, your life, health, and business too. Talk to the good hands people. By the Shell Oil Company, makers of Super Shell, good mileage gasoline that goes a long way. By Firestone, the pilot specialist, you're on the right track with Firestone. And by the 1971 Opel, Buick's foreign economy car. Good afternoon from Milwaukee. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Keith Jackson along with Jack Twyman and you are looking at one of the biggest big men in professional basketball, the player of the year in 1970, that is Willis Reed of the New York Knicks. And he will lead the Knicks this afternoon in Milwaukee against the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Bucks in turn are paced by this massive man, Lou Alcindor. The Knicks coming in for the first meeting with the Bucks this year with a record of 18 and seven, lead the Atlantic Division of the Eastern Conference. Milwaukee leading the Midwest Division of the Western Conference with a record of 17 and one. The Bucks have won 16 in a row. If they can win it this afternoon, it'll be 17, and tomorrow night they will try to match the NBA consecutive win record set last year by the New York Knicks, and they'll try to do it against the Knicks in New York. The matchups today, Jack Twyman, it's got to be a great ball game. Great ball game, Keith. As we look at the matchups, you see Dave DeBusher will be guarding and will be guarded by Bob Dandridge. Larry Costello announced before the game that he is going to put Greg Smith, a forward, on Walt Frazier, the backcourt man of the Knicks. So Smith will be guarding Frazier, Bradley will be guarding McLaughlin, and will be guarded by McLaughlin. The big matchups, of course, in the center, Lou Alcindor versus Willis Reed, and in the backcourt, Oscar Robertson against Dick Barnett. The Milwaukee Bucks, the most potent offensive basketball team in the NBA this year. The New York Knicks, as you might expect, the most effective defensive team. It'll be Alcindor and Reed squaring off. The New York Knicks are wearing the dark blue, or if you're not in color, the dark shirts. And the Milwaukee Bucks are in white. The officials, Jake O'Donnell, Mindy Rudolph, and the ball goes out of bounds off the tip. New York will put it in play. Walt Frazier, number 10, into Dick Barnett, number 14. On the front line, Dave DeBusher, number 22, Bill Bradley, number 24, and in the middle, the big man, Willis Reed, number 19. Walt Frazier, or Clyde, as he is known in the big city, handles the ball out in front for Barnett. Barnett works into the lane. He's got a 12-footer up. It is no good, and Alcindor rebound. So the ball game is underway as Oscar Robertson brings it down, goes into the corner. That is Bobby Dandridge, Oscar Robertson wearing number one, John McLaughlin, 14, Greg Smith, number four, Lou Alcindor, number 33. Alcindor against Reed. Two. And there's what we can look to see all afternoon. Oscar Robertson clearing the side, feeding to Lou Alcindor. The Milwaukee offense. Backcourt violation. It'll go to the Milwaukee Bucks. John McLaughlin, number 14, will play it in. The Milwaukee Bucks leading 2 0 on Lou Alcindor's first basket of the day. He is averaging better than 32 points a game. What a difference Robertson has made. The ball is picked off by DeBusher. That is Bradley. DeBusher. Bradley, two points. That's First time. Bradley from the butcher. McLaughlin picked up by Frazier. In it goes to Alcindor against Reed. Greg Smith. Standridge. Robertson underneath. Bucks lead the next first quarter. Willis Reed, 17 feet. Basket. There's what we can expect to see Reed uh, do all afternoon. Reed has to bring Alcindor out to open it up inside for the Knickerbocker. Alcindor's hook, deflected by Reed. Bradley, Smith almost stole it. 
Walt Frazier, 18 feet. Basket by Frazier. Next lead, 6-4. With 10 minutes, 5 seconds to go, first quarter. From Milwaukee, Greg Smith. Held by Bradley. First personal, first team. In talking to the Knickerbockers Follow before the game, they Bradley. want to get that First ball down personal. the floor. They feel First. if they can get the ball down offensively Bradley. before Milwaukee can set the up, they will have a chance on the boards against Lou Alcindor. So we can expect, expect to see New York run, which they have done in the early minutes. Two shots. Two shots. Ken's high it. 6-5. Knicks lead the Bucks. Rebound, Reed. Barnett and Frazier in the backcourt for New York. The front line, the same line they have opened with and stayed with. That's Bill Bradley. Into the lane, goes to Reed inside. Alcindor takes it away. It is off the board. It is Reed. New York's ball out of bounds. Alcindor, in trying to get control of it, tipped it up inside and knocked it out of bounds. It hit the frame that holds the backboard. That's Barnett, checked by Robertson. Reed against Alcindor. Danbridge made the block. McLaughlin. Dandridge to Busher on him. Reed the rebound. Frazier for New York. Checked by Smith for Milwaukee. The Knicks are in the dark uniform. Barnett. Reed over Alcindor from 16 feet. Both clubs defensively are sagging here in the early minutes. Uh, neither club has been able to penetrate, and most of their offense is from outside. Reed has four points. Personal foul, Dave DeBusher. His first, second New York team foul. Foul on DeBusher. First, personal. Second, team. Dandridge at the line shooting. Bobby Dandridge at the line. One of the quickest. Frontliners in the game missed it. Reed loses the ball out of bounds. Alcindor putting the pressure on Reed for that rebound. Willis couldn't handle it. Offensive foul is called on Bobby Dandridge. That's his personal. First personal. First personal. That's the old pro, Dave DeBusher. He established his position, and Dandridge, in an effort to get the ball, charged DeBusher and caused an offensive foul. DeBusher checked by Dandridge, drives. Oh. Bristol stops it, traveling. And we see the effect of the sag. Both clubs sagging. DeBusher tried to force the drive, and there was nothing there. So both defenses sagging defense. 8-5, New York leads. 8.45 to go, first quarter. Craig Smith can't find Alcindor. He's double-teamed. Now it goes to him. Inside against Reed. There's the hook. He got it. Alcindor now with four points. And it's 8-7, New York over Milwaukee. At eight and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Full house, 10,746 for the ball game at Milwaukee Arena. The first meeting of this season between these two powerhouses. Robertson checking Barnett. Bradley from the top of the key. Dandridge and Reed. It is Reed, and he gets his basket. Six points for Willis. by Reed. 10-7. Next lead to Bucks. Robertson into Alcindor. Knocked away. The pusher to Barnett. McLaughlin picks him up. That's Bradley from the circle. 15 feet good. 12-7. Knicks lead the box. Bradley, four points. Barnett on Robertson. Dandridge. In there. 12-9. New York. With 7.35 to go first quarter. Barnett. Blocked by Alcindor out of bounds. The Milwaukee Bucks have won 16 in a row coming into this one. If they can win it today, it'll be 17 straight. The New York Knicks are shot by Reed. is blocked by Alcindor. Barnett has it. He gets away from Oscar and hits one. New York hitting outside beautifully. They're moving the ball around. The real good moving basketball team. All five men move. 
They pass the ball well, and they're getting the good open shot. Knicks have a five-point edge at 7-10 to go first quarter, 14-9. Greg Smith against Bradley, 20 feet, no good. Alcindor against Reed, and he goes away from him, and he comes back to the bucket. He has six points. How about that for a move? Three-point lead for the Knicks, 14-11. That's DeBusher working against Dandridge. Willis Reed. DeBusher. Al Sender's on him. They come out to Frazier now. DeBusher. 18-footer is no good. Dandridge working the board very well. The man slight of stature, but very quick. Greg Smith. Time call. Milwaukee. Time we have a timeout here at the Milwaukee Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In the first quarter, 6.28 to play. It's New York 14, Milwaukee 11. Ever notice how life hands you your biggest responsibilities when you're least able to afford them? Like this little bundle. Quite a handful for a young guy who's not making much money yet. This is when you need life insurance the most, and when you have the least money to buy it with. Which leaves you with what Allstate calls the responsibility gap. Allstate is set up to help. If you're 25, for example, Allstate can provide $30,000 worth of decreasing term life insurance for less than $11 a month. A lot of protection, for less probably than the payments on a new refrigerator. If you're a young family man, talk to the good hands people about life insurance. Allstate makes it all a lot easier. You're in good hands with Allstate. Willis Reed, New York Knicks, six points so far in the game. The Knicks have hit seven out of 13 from the floor. Milwaukee, five out of 10 from the floor. 6.28 to play first quarter. The Knicks are leading 14 to 11. Keith, we're seeing Oscar Robinson take Dick Barnett. Larry Costello this year, uh, in contrast to what Oscar has been used to in the past, is assigning him to the tough offensive player. And in the past four games, he's held uh, players like Jerry West to 12, Jeff Mullins to 10 and 15, respectively. And Walt Frazier here, he is, uh, he is being guarded by uh, uh, Greg Smith, the other uh, forward. So uh, Oscar's playing defense for the first time in his career. And there are no offensive lineup changes for the Bucks, no changes for the Knicks. The Bucks have the ball as Oscar tries to work it in. Barnett slaps it away, but it's grabbed by Dandridge. And Oscar at the buzzer on the 24th. It's 14-13. The Bucks are within one. Milwaukee looking for their 17th consecutive win, a record of 17 and one on the year. In the Reed, he kicks it away, but Frazier has it. It is knocked away by Smith. It is Dandridge and Robertson. McLaughlin on the drive. Rudolph and Jake O'Donnell are the officials. The blocking called on Bill Bradley. That's his second personal. And here come the Bucks. Oscar goes to McLaughlin into Alcindor. Who fakes? Travel. Both the big men, Reed and Alcindor, will surely go to their bottom of the barrel and looking for the tricks this afternoon. That's the third Milwaukee turnover. 22 feet to Busher, no good, and it's McLaughlin to Robertson. Robertson, the quarterback of this Milwaukee team this year. He tries one from 16. That's the count. Third team foul. That matchup at forward where Bradley is being guarded by McLaughlin and uh, Walt Frazier being guarded by Greg Smith is confusing the Knickerbockers a little bit. Here we have the uh, shot by Oscar Robertson coming through. We uh, will bring that up again. But the confusion on the part of the Knickerbockers is uh, Bradley being guarded by McLaughlin and Greg Smith guarding Walt Frazier. They're having a tough time picking up their respective men when they come back over to defense. 
A three-point play for Oscar Robertson. 18-14, Milwaukee has the lead. The third personal foul on Bill Bradley. He's out of the lineup. Dave Stallworth has replaced him on the front line. Stallworth feeding it away to Reed. And Willis cut off by Alcindor. Goes back to Barnett. A whistle stops it. And Oscar is called for the foul. That is his first personal. Foul on Robertson. First personal. First team. That's the first team foul on Milwaukee. The Knicks have three team fouls. The shot by Barnett is good. The score is 18-15. Milwaukee leads with 4.49 to go first quarter. Milwaukee leading New York. Dandridge into Alcindor. Over Reed. Lou has eight points. Willis has six. 2015, Milwaukee. Frazier covered up by Smith. That's Barnett. Reed outside. Got it, Beauty. 20 to 17, Milwaukee. We see New York putting a little pressure on, keeping in mind New York, the best defensive team in basketball, holding the opposition to 100 points a game. McLaughlin, 23 feet. 22-17, Milwaukee by five. Four points for John. Reed has eight, Alcindor eight. The battle of the big men. Barnett gets too much of the back iron. That is Greg Smith. Bucks by five, 22-17, 3.45 to go first quarter. McLaughlin beats Stallworth, got it. A great shooter, he has six. Time fall by the New York Knicks. Three minutes, 36 seconds to go in the first quarter here at the Milwaukee Arena. Our score, the Milwaukee Bucks, 24. The New York Knicks have 17. For good mileage in your AMX... GTX, GTO, XKE, or souped up Model T, there's Super Shell. And for most 1971s, now there's Shell of the Future, made with no lead at all. It's also good for many older cars. Shell of the Future. <laughs> Colt 45 Malt Liquor, a completely unique experience. This is Keith Jackson along with Jack Twyman. Milwaukee Arena, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, NBA basketball between the Milwaukee Bucks and the New York Knicks. And there you can see how these two teams have been playing. The 13 and a half point difference between Milwaukee and the opposition is really awesome, Jack. Sure is. They're an awesome ball club. But there you see New York averaging 110 points a game while holding the opposition to 101 for an eight-point difference, whereas New York, uh, Milwaukee, a potent offensive team, 118 points. And early in the first quarter, Keith, uh, New York was ahead 14 to 9, and since that time, Milwaukee has run off a 15-point uh, spree to New York's three. Walt Frazier brings the ball into play for the blue-clad New York Knicks, the world champion of last season against the formidable Milwaukee Bucks. Frazier from 23 feet out, center the rebound. I head to Greg Smith. He has four rebounds in the game so far. McLaughlin, Robertson, I see no changes in either lineup. Robertson moves it around outside. He's quarterbacked this ball club brilliantly so far. Alcindor inside. He gets the short hook shot over Reed. And it's 26-17, a nine-point lead for the Bucks. Alcindor now with 10 points. Frazier and DeBusher. Robertson picks up DeBusher. Stallworth sets the screen. Frazier can't work behind it. That's Barnett over Dandridge. And the rebound, Alcindor. That's five. Greg Smith ahead to Dandridge. Bucks leading by nine. Dandridge on a drive. Up 28 for 17, a nine-point lead with two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Frazier to Reed. Willis over Lou. Missed it. Mindy Rudolph's whistle stops it. 
Loose ball foul. Loose ball foul there called by Mindy Rudolph. There you see Willis Reed complaining that Lou Alcindor is sticking his hand in his face, which of course is not allowed. That foul against Bob Dandridge, his second, the second team foul against the Milwaukee Bucks. Now we have Greg Smith whistle for a foul. That's his first and third team foul for the Bucks. That two minutes and 19 seconds to play in the first quarter. And the last two times down the floor, we saw Willis Reed go to the corner, realizing that the Knickerbockers, as we look at Walt Frazier's 21.5 average, the Knickerbockers have to get Al Cinder out of that middle and get him away from the board. Walt makes the free throw. He now has a total of three points. One out of two from the field. Dandridge and Oscar Robertson are out in front. Alcindor inside against Reed. Oscar looks for him and works in that direction. Dick Barnett trying to control Robertson and could not do it. That 17 footer, soft to the feather. He has five points. It's 30 to 18. Milwaukee by 12. Reed missed it. Foul is on Alcindor. His first the fourth team foul on the Bucks at 153 to go in the first quarter Willis Reed with eight points so far in the ball game four rebounds he's four out of eight from the field and here he goes from the free throw line thirty to nineteen the Bucks lead the Knicks Milwaukee trying for its 17th consecutive win this season Reed converts a pair, make it 30-20, Milwaukee by 10. Robertson hand-checked by Barnett. Greg Smith. Dandridge cut off by DeBusher. Goes to Lou. Ten-footer good. 32-20, Milwaukee by 12. 12 points out, Sendor. Minute 25 to go, first quarter, Reed. Dandridge helped him out, and Bobby actually tipped it in. It'll go to DeBusher, who was the closest man to it. 32-22, Milwaukee by 10. Minute five to go, first quarter. Robertson, that's 24 feet. Dandridge tried to slap it out. Two on one. Frazier, Barnett. Frazier takes it in. Got it. Basket by Frazier. Five points for Walt. Stole the ball. Frazier again. Basket by Frazier. Knicks defense paying off with another bucket. 32 26, 40 seconds to go. Smith. Tip by Dandridge. Cleared finally by Reed. So there's that Nick defense that we saw so much last year. Stallworth, Milwaukee, do you lose their composure as Stallworth hits from the corner? Dave Stallworth, who has been the super sub all year for the Knicks, getting one from 19 feet out of the corner. It's 32-28 as Dick Barnett fouls Oscar Robertson, the fourth team foul against the New York Knicks, and Barnett's first, 17 seconds to go in the first quarter. So the Knicks, who were down by 12 at one time, have come storming back in the closing seconds of the first quarter. They trail by four as Robertson goes to the line. Oscar has a total of five points in the first quarter. Now six. 33-28, five points, Milwaukee leading. Inside 10 seconds. Frazier behind Reed. Good. 16 feet. Nine points for Walt Frazier. He led the scoring spree at the close of the first quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, the Milwaukee Bucks have 33. The New York Knicks have 30. We'll return for the second quarter in just a minute. What would happen if there were no more railroads? You might not even be able to read about it. Because a lot of newspapers could be no more. Without railroads to move it from the mills, paper wouldn't be so cheap anymore. We'd all read less and write less. It could even mean fewer school books and no ticket tape parades. Paper might be so scarce, we could use it for money. America without railroads, we can't afford that. But if railroads are just allowed to do business like any other business, 
with up-to-date regulations and fair taxation, then they'll always deliver the goods. America's railroads. Who needs them? You do. We all do. Tomorrow, ABC Sports presents another exciting college football doubleheader at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the annual Army-Navy game from Philadelphia. Immediately following that classic, live to the Los Angeles Coliseum, the unbeaten fighting Irish of Notre Dame against the Trojans of USC. Tomorrow on ABC, Army-Navy, followed by Notre Dame-USC. 33-30, Milwaukee, 15 out of 24 from the field in the first quarter, 3 out of 5 at the foul line. New York has 30 points, 13 out of 25 from the field, and 4 out of 4 from the line. It rebounds Milwaukee 12, the Knicks 9. And in those closing minutes of the first quarter, New York going to their press, unnerved Milwaukee, and got right back in this ball game. And Mike Reardon, number 6, is in the lineup for the New York Knicks. As we start the second quarter, Dave DeBusher. Away to Dave Stallworth. And here come the Knicks trailing by three. DeBusher from 20 feet. Robertson the rebound. Reardon is checking Robertson. That's the change made by Red Holtzman. Oscar missing. Frazier. Greg Smith went down hard. Out of the corner to Busher. 33-32. The Bucks by one. Mindy Rudolph stops it. Foul reared. First person, first team in the second quarter. First team. Robertson at the line. Robertson with a total of six points. Season average, as you see. But what a contribution Jackie has made to this ball club. 34-32 as he converts the free throw. The Bucks lead by two. Reardon with it. That's Reed set at the top of the key. Has the ball. Inside to Busher. Stolen by Robertson. McLaughlin. Greg Smith. Reed has it. Six rebounds for Willis. Stallworth trying to feed Reardon. Checked away by Robertson. Nick's ball, front court. And Willis Reed doing a great job with, it, with his weight in there. He's forcing Alcindor away from the basket a little more than he was able to do earlier in the game, and it's been effective. In and out for Frazier. A tough one to lose. 34-32. The Bucks have a two-point lead. Ten and a half minutes to go in the first half. Robertson with it. That's Dandridge. He's working against Stallworth. 36-32. Dandridge, eight points. Greg Smith checking Walt Frazier. Stallworth. McLaughlin on him. Off read screen. Basket by Stallworth. Dave Stallworth, four points. Next close to then two, Dandridge. McLaughlin, 21 feet. So Johnny with a hot hand has eight points. 38-34 with 9.40 to go in the first half. The Bucks lead. And the Bucks have the ball. As Stallworth falls down and then they throw it away. 9.36 to go in the first half. Bob Boozer comes into the ball game, number 20. And here comes Lucius Allen coming into the ball game for Milwaukee, replacing Oscar Robertson. Allen is number seven. Boozer, number 20. Alcindor remains in. Dandage remains in. And so does McLaughlin. So it's Robertson and Smith getting the rest. No change for the next stalwart. That's DeBusher with Boozer on him. Reed. Stallworth. Oh, about 23 feet. Six points for Dave. 
Bucks by two, 38 36. Lucius Allen, ex of UCLA. Dandridge inside to Alcindor, missed it. He'll try again, got it that time. 40 to 36, a four point lead, 14 for Lou. Bob Boozer checking to Busher. Willis Reed, 14 feet, right over Lou. 40 to 38, a two point margin for the Bucks, and 12 for Willis Reed. Dandridge over to Busher. Foul called. It'll be the second team foul against the Knicks. Foul is on to Busher. We see Phil Jackson coming in for Dave DeBusher. What Red Holzman is trying to accomplish is that with Willis Reed going outside, he needs a little more help on the board. So Jackson at 6'8", when Alcindor follows Willis outside, will give them the rebounding help that they need. Dandridge fouled in the act of shooting, gets the two free throws, makes them both, and he now totals 10 points. Bill Jackson in the lineup. Jackson, number 18, moving into the onto the front line for New York. And Boozer takes him. Reads inside against Alcindor. Dandridge almost came across to block it, but the shot is good on a tremendous effort by Willis Reed. At 8.10 to go in the first half, 42-40, the Bucks by two. Lucius Allen in to Alcindor, back to Allen. They played together at UCLA, that's Boozer. Foul is on Willis Reed of the New York Knicks. Third team foul, Reed's first. Willis with 14 points. And Reed has been warned a couple of times by Mendy Rudolph, and uh, he was using his weight, forcing Alcindor outside, and Mendy caught him. Alcindor at the foul line, missed it, and Reed rebounds. Lou with 14 points in the game and six rebounds so far. Mike Reardon handling the ball for the Knicks. Dave Stalwart, checked by Dandridge. Reed outside. 22 feet. 42, 42, Reed with 16 points. Seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. The Knicks have caught up. Allen, 21 feet. Loose ball foul on Alcindor on the rebound. That is the second personal on Alcindor. First team. On Milwaukee, Larry Costello, the coach of the Bucks. Al Cinder has been getting in foul trouble lately, and that's why he has not been following Willis outside. But he's going to have to guard him because Willis is hitting that outside shot now. Walt Frazier with the ball for New York. That's Reed. Al Cinder goes down. Charging. Reed. Red Holzman unhappy. Second foul on Willis. 7.05 to go, first half. 42 42, Reed, two personals. Dandridge trying to go to Allen across the key. Frazier broke it up with help from Reardon. Time out by Milwaukee. And we have time out here in the second quarter, 6.56 to go. Our score Milwaukee 42, New York 42. Opal built an all-new economy car with standard equipment you don't get on other economy cars, foreign or domestic, like power front disc brakes and hydraulic valve lifters for a smooth, quiet engine, front bucket seats with adjustable backs, rear swing-open side windows, and a really big trunk. And it came out so well, they just couldn't resist making three more. The new Opal 1900s, Buick's foreign economy car. Je m'appelle Jean-Claude Killy. Quand je descends, je pense à pas mal de choses. Une jolie femme, un verre de vin, une jolie femme. Je ne pense pas à mes jambes ou à mes chevilles. Elles épousent le terrain. Je n'ai pas à penser à mes skis. Ce sont des head skis.
NFL Monday Night Football on ABC. Next Monday night, the Miami Dolphins against the Atlanta Falcons from Atlanta. A big ball game for Miami if the Dolphins are to stay in the chase. For one of those playoff spots, they almost have to win it. They are 6-4 and four on the year. But you know it's tough to win in Atlanta. Willis Reed, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 7 out of 12 from the field. The battle of the big man, Lou Alcindor, 14 points, 6 rebounds, 7 out of 9 from the field. 6.56 to go first half. The score is tied 42-42. It's the third time this game has been tied. The Bucks put it in play. Baseline front court. That's Lucius Allen. Foul is charging on Allen, number 7. His first personal. The Knicks play it with a score tie. Dave Stallworth, Mike Reardon, Walt Frazier, Willis Reed, Bill Jackson. That's the lineup for the Knicks. Stallworth checked by Dandridge. That's Reed. Al Sender out chasing him. Forced him a little bit, and Willis missed it. The rebound to Bob Boozer. Allen, Dandridge, McLaughlin, Al Sender for the Bucks, and Lou has it over Reed. It's partially checked. By Jackson, he got a hand on it, and here comes Reardon. That's Reed. Good. That's good. By 18 Reed. for Willis Reed. 6.15 to play first half. The Knicks have the lead, 44-42. Oscar's off the bench. He'll come back. The first opportunity. McLaughlin, 20 feet. John McLaughlin, a 44-44 ball game. Six minutes to go, first half. Reardon checked by McLaughlin. That's Stallworth. Number nine, B.J. Factor Reed. No, missed it. Alcindor was trapped. He was nowhere near Reed. Dandridge. That's McLaughlin from 23 feet. Oh, he when he gets hot, he's something. 12 points for John. Five and a half minutes to go, first half. The Bucks back on top by two. Reed. Mismatch against McLaughlin. He's got two more. 20 points for Willis. Reed is setting those picks, and now Cinder is switching and allowing the smaller man to get Reed, and it has been effective for the Knicks. Reed is hitting that shot. Andridge down the middle. Falling down, he got I might say the Knickerbockers are doing a better job of helping Reed with Alcindor than the Bucks are of helping Alcindor with Reed. Milwaukee by two, 48-46. Jackson to Frazier. In the corner, Mike Reardon from 18 feet. Too long. Out of bounds. It'll be Milwaukee's ball at 4.49 to go. And here comes Greg Smith and Oscar Robertson back into the Milwaukee lineup. Jackson comes out of the New York lineup. Barnett is back in. Reardon is out and the busher is back in so we have the starting units on the floor at 445 to go in the first half at number 12 Barnett. al sender at 15 feet holding that's lucius allen who remained in the game he stayed in there bob boozer for the milwaukee bucks the rebound by greg smith smith is not too big but he is a real battler number four greg has five points 425 to go in the first half. Bucks by four, 50 to 46. The Busher. Stalver. Rebound to Smith. Five rebounds for Greg. Al Cinder. Lucius Allen. Off the front iron from 16 feet. That's Dave Stalver. Nick Barnett. Now Sender again coming out, now checking on Barnett. Reads inside. Beautiful play by Boozer and Smith. But there's a foul call. Foul is on Boozer. That's Bob's first. First personal, second team foul. Three minutes, 47 seconds to go, first half. Bucks leading 50 to 46. As we look at Willis Reed on the foul line and see his 22 points a game, there is a danger in doing what the Knicks are doing. They're looking totally to Willis Reed, and the other four 
players on the floor are just standing around. Now, Reed is delivering and he's scoring, but it could cause problems for them as the game wears on. Well, this is three out of three from the free throw line, a total of 21 points. Now, 22. So he's a little bit ahead of his season average right now. And the Bucks throw it away. They just flat threw it away. The Busher will put it in for the Knicks. It's 50 to 48 at 345 to go. Milwaukee by two. Allen against Frazier. Walter giving him a little fancy stuff and hits from 18 feet. Scores tied at a half a hundred apiece, 50-50. At three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Nelson there. Eight foot hook missed and Reed beat him on the board. Barnett. Nick save it. Crowd hooting. They thought he'd travel. Barnett shot. No good. Who's with the rebound? And knocked out by Reed. McLaughlin will come in. First chance. Probably for Allen. Robertson bringing it down for Milwaukee. 50-50 the score. Oscar had a hole. Cindy Rudolph stops it. Five is on number 12. That's Dick Barnett. That's his second Barnett. personal foul, second the fourth team foul four. against the Knicks. And as we see John McLaughlin come in, obviously in replacing oh, Allen, Larry Costello oh, wants to get a little outside shooting in that buck lineup. The Knickerbockers have been successful in sagging in on Lou, and McLaughlin with his outside shooting will loosen up that defense a little bit. Oscar, four out of four from the line, a total of eight points so far in the game. He's given the Bucks a one-point lead. Barnett against Robertson. And Reed sets a screen. It's like a wall. That's the busher out in front. In the Reed. Ball is stolen by Greg Smith. A little double teaming. The long lead pass intended for Bob Boozer. Out of bounds, New York. Oscar trying to get a break going to Boozer. That's the sixth turnover for Milwaukee. New York also totals six turnovers. Bucks lead by one, 51 to 50, with 2.35 to go in the first half, and time is called by the New York Knicks. So with our time out here at the Milwaukee Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Milwaukee Bucks lead the New York Knicks by one, 51 to 50. And here with the evening news is your correspondent, Harvey Mallard. Good evening. In Tibet, the search for the abominable snow duck continues as scientists examine the strange tracks in the snow. On the home front, the price of eggs fell for the fourth consecutive day. Sports, the feature race at Aqueduct was won by Gallant Drake. Now this word from our sponsor, Henry Marchand Cold Duck. This new champagne drink is a bubbly marriage of sparkling burgundy <coughs> and extra dry champagne. Absolutely delicious. Remember the name, Henry Marchand Cold Duck. And for those who like their champagne straight, Henry Marchand Extra Dry Champagne. Now here's the weather. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow. It'll rain all day. Well, that's it for tonight. This is Harvey Mallard wishing you a good day this day until next day. Red Holzman talking with his New York Knicks. They're down by a point. 50 to 51, 234 to go in the second quarter in the game so far. Milwaukee, 22 out of 40 from the field. New York, 22 out of 42. Both teams over 50% in shooting. And as we see the Knicks go back on the court, Red Holzman, there you see the battle between Reed and Alcindor. Alcindor with 14, Reed with 22, and the rebounds and assists fairly even. But what I was going to say, Red Holzman has a little problem with his ball club in that it's tough to replace a Kazi Russell, who averaging 16 a game, won't be back in action until Christmas. So he's trying to get the most out of a, a depleted front line, and he's using Stallworth very well. The New York lineup, Frazier, DeBusher, Barnett, Reed, Stallworth. Milwaukee, Greg Smith, Bob Boozer, John McLaughlin, Lou Alcindor, and Oscar Robertson, and the foul is on John McLaughlin, 14. Dave Stallworth will go to the line. That is McLaughlin's first foul, the third team foul on the Bucks. At two minutes and 23 seconds to go in the second quarter, Dave Stallworth can tie. Six points, three out of four from the field. His first opportunity at the foul line. 
Missed it. Now at best he can do is tie it for the Knicks. Makes the second of his free throw. And it's 51-51. Oscar checked by Barnett. Into Al Sender. A little too hard off the glass. The rebound stalwart. DeBusher. 12 feet. Robertson. Good job off the boards for Milwaukee. We're inside two minutes. 51 51. Greg Smith. Seven points for Greg Smith. Bucks by two at 145 to go in the second quarter. That's Stallworth from 21 feet, and it's tied again. Nine points per day. Eight times the game has been tied. The shot missed by Lou, the rebound. Here come the Knicks. The busher, beautiful pass, and the Knicks are back in front by two. Walt Frazier. Beautiful pass to set up the DeBusher basket. Stallworth checks it away. McLaughlin, 14 feet off inside. Smith! Greg Smith is only 6'5", but he plays bigger. And time call here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Our score with 58 seconds to go. New York, 55. Milwaukee, 55. To the Milwaukee lineup. Now, a new stunted town and country winter tire you can put on all four wheels of your car to really improve your stopping ability on ice. With just two new Firestone town and country stunted tires on the rear, you still stop. And you've stopped a lot quicker than with just two ordinary stunted winter tires on the rear. Firestone's new asymmetrical Town & Country tire with 112 safety studs, available where laws permit, gives us more reasons than ever to say, you go through ice, mud, or snow, or we pay the toll. If anybody tells you that ordinary snow tires are as good as Firestone's new asymmetrical Town & Country's, Tell him he's all wet. Look for the new asymmetrical town and country winter tire from Firestone, the mileage specialist. Cassie Russell, wearing a cast on his left wrist, sorely missed by the New York Knicks, but he'll be back. It's a long season, and certainly he is bound to make a contribution. 58 seconds to play in the first half. It's 55-55. The Milwaukee Bucks looking for their 17th straight victory. Trying to knock off the consecutive win record set in the NBA by the New York Knicks last year at 18 in a row. These same two teams play tomorrow night in New York. Milwaukee, in order to tie the record, must sweep the Knicks. That's tough. And as we see both teams come back out on the court, Larry Costello not wanting to take any chances, coming in with Billy Zoff, number six, and in the center, Dick Cunningham, spelling Lou Alcindor. So he does not want to have Alcindor and Robertson get any more fouls. Dave Stallworth coming down the floor in a hurry. Into the corner, it's Dave DeBusher. A whistle stops it. Foul. Fourth team foul. Foul is called against Lucius Allen, his second personal. So with Alcindor and McLaughlin and Robertson coming back in, it was obvious what he wanted to do. He sent those three players in just to foul, and now... He has his first team back in the lineup. Dave Stallworth will go to the line. He has a total of nine points. Remember, a collegiate doubleheader in football tomorrow on ABC, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, Army-Navy, followed by Notre Dame and, and USC. Stallworth now 10 Rio, points. Central. New York leading 56-55, 50 seconds to play in the second quarter. Dandridge has returned to the lineup for the Milwaukee Bucks. There's Lou inside. Muscle match with Reed. He missed it. Andridge had the rebound. The Busher came out of there with it. Stallworth checked by Oscar. Gets away. Rebound is outside to Barnett. Twenty-one seconds. Twenty seconds. Twelve 
10 seconds on the timer. Working for the one last shot. Here's Frazier inside to Willis. Willis goes with a hook and missed it. And Dandridge to Smith. Five seconds. 25-footer misses. McLaughlin's rebound misses. And there's the buzzer. So we've come to the end of the, first, of the second quarter of the first half. We'll return with our halftime activities. Jack Twyman will be talking with Lou Alcender in just a minute. Our score, 56-55 the Knicks. 55 the Knicks. Blackburn, this shipment has to get across the country in 48 hours or we'll ruin. But boss, that's 3,000 miles. Across the country in 48 hours? Duck soup. Here I go! A soup of food! Who was that man? I REA! REA Air Express rides again! REA Air Express, the fastest delivery of small shipments known to mankind! I owe REA away! Opal built an all-new economy car with standard equipment you don't get on other economy cars, foreign or domestic, like power front disc brakes and hydraulic valve lifters for a smooth, quiet engine, front bucket seats with adjustable backs, rear swing-open side windows, and a really big trunk. And it came out so well, they just couldn't resist making three more. The new Opal 1900s, Buick's foreign economy car. Well, Jack, I guess when you have the two ball clubs that at least at this point of the season have been the best, have the best records, and have played the toughest kind of game, you'd expect to have this kind of a score at halftime, actually tied nine times in the first half. And it's a wide open ball game, Keith, exactly as we predicted. These are two great basketball teams, and they're playing one another like it was a championship series, and I'm sure the second half will be no exception. Have they done anything that surprised you? Have they been able to deviate from the game plan effectively, in your opinion, from what they told you that they might try to do going in? Well, I think the Knickerbockers are going to Willis Reed a little more than I expected they would do. Uh, the Knickerbockers are historically a great team uh, that moves the ball well and works five men against five men. They've been concentrating on Willis Reed more than I expected. Well, you know, when you start putting a basketball team together, it's really a very delicate thing, and the Milwaukee Bucks have, have moved from being, I think, a good team to the stature of being a great team with the addition of the big O, Oscar Robertson. Now, Jack, you played with him six years at Cincinnati, and I am sure that you know him as well as anybody, certainly better than anybody uh, sitting at this table. And here is a special feature put together on film to show you the value of Robertson. Oscar Robertson brings the ball down court for the Bucks about 90% of the time. As Larry Costello, the Milwaukee coach, says, Oscar's like a coach on the floor. He makes my job a lot easier. John McLaughlin, a great outside threat, gets the ball into Lou. Lou has perfected the art of backing into position for that unstoppable right-handed hook. Al Singer can go to his left, too, but he still shoots with his right hand. Oscar's 10 years in the NBA have given him the judgment to make split-second decisions as to whether to pass off or take it in himself. Oscar can switch hands while dribbling to keep the ball on the side away from the man guarding him. Guarding Oscar is a tough assignment. If he doesn't play Oscar very close, Oscar will drive on him. If he plays him too closely, it will result in either a foul or the kind of collision from which Oscar can get free. And once he has room, look out. The timing on a lob pass has to be perfect, and you don't see them any better than Oscar's pass to Dick Cunningham. Slow motion emphasizes Lou's ability to move with the speed and agility of a much shorter man. The double pump is one of the most dramatic one-on-one -on -one guessing games in basketball. Here's another angle of one of the most potent scoring weapons in modern basketball, the Alcindor hook. Oscar doesn't always bring the ball down, and if there's double coverage on he or Al Cinder, it leaves an opening for players like Dandridge to go all the way in. The Milwaukee attack is well balanced. Along with Lou and Oscar, the scoring threat of Bob Dandridge and John McLaughlin, number 14, opens up the defense for both the drive or the long shot. Once again, giving Oscar just a little room 
The result? Two more points. The Milwaukee team play is evident from the tip-off, as is Alcindor's speed. Blue moves swiftly down court as Dandridge leads him perfectly under the basket for an easy score. In Milwaukee, it's often team play that gets that ball into Alcindor. With Oscar's field generalship on the court, team play has become more and more evident at Milwaukee. It gives outside shooters like McLaughlin and Dandridge great confidence to know that they have a great rebounder waiting under that basket. Hello again, everybody, from Milwaukee. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the film feature you've seen at halftime. We have more such features planned for you as the basketball season comes along. Our score here at halftime between the Milwaukee Bucks and the New York Knicks, the Knicks have the edge, 56-55. It's been a very close first half. The biggest lead enjoyed by Milwaukee, 28-17 back in the first quarter. The biggest New York lead was 12-7 and 14-9. In other words, the biggest margin was 5 for New York. Quite a weekend of sports coming up on ABC. Tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll present Kodak's All-America football team for 1970. Chris Schenkel and Bud Wilkinson on hand to present the best offensive and the top defensive collegiate football players for 1970, selected by the coaches around the country. The Kodak All-America football team tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tomorrow, a collegiate football doubleheader on ABC. At 1 o'clock Eastern Time, the annual Army-Navy game from Philadelphia, immediately followed by the USC-Notre Dame game. So we've got quite a day of, of football coming for you tomorrow. There's our score at halftime. The New York Knicks, 56. The Milwaukee Bucks have 55. And we are not far away from a special interview with Lou Alcindor. <laughs> Colt 45 malt liquor, a completely unique experience. <laughs> Non-leaded shell of the future is now here. One reason shell of the future can be made with no lead is because of TCP, a famous shell ingredient. TCP guards against possible valve wear. Shell could have left some lead in to do the same job, but thanks to TCP, shell can take all the lead out. And shell of the future is formulated for good mileage, as you might expect from shell. Share in the good times with the Partridge family tonight on ABC. The score here at halftime, New York 56, Milwaukee 55, and you're looking at Lou Alcindor, the all-star center for the Milwaukee Bucks. Lou, what has the addition of Oscar Robertson to the Bucks meant to your ball club? Well, uh, in, uh, in Oscar, we have somebody that can uh, do the job all the time. You know, we have consistency. We have excellent consistency, you know, which is what we need in the backcourt. How about with Lou Alcindor? You're scoring more. You're shooting a better percentage. Has he helped your personal game much? Well, he's helped my personal game a whole lot in, insofar as uh, I, I make fewer turnovers now because I have somebody to pass me the ball and somebody I can pass the ball to. And, he, you know, he's helped out the rest of the, of the team. The rest of the team. Uh, we're passing better. We're helping each, out, helping each other out on defense a lot better. And it, it's, uh, it's a lot easier on us. Uh, Lou, how about this particular game? How important is this game in establishing a trend for the rest of the year? New York jumped out and beat you four straight games at the start of last season. Uh, do you have that in the back of your mind? 
Not really. Right now, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, achieve some kind of uh, uh, momentum. You know, we want to we want to develop winning ways and uh, trying to maintain them. Of course, we want to be the Knicks because they're the world champions. Uh, Lou Reed is uh, 22 points here at halftime. Do you did you expect the Knicks to be going to Reed as much as they have in the first half? Well, they usually uh, hit the open man. Uh, they'll go to anybody on their team that can put it in the hoop. And Wilson's doing an excellent job. How about at halftime? What did Larry Costello say? Do you expect any changes here in the second half? Are you going to adjust your offense or defense any? Not really. Uh, we just there's a few things that we have to have to do, and uh, once we do that, we just got to try and play the game. That's what it comes down to. How about the rest of the season? Are you pacing yourself? Are you looking forward to the uh, playoffs? Or are you playing them one at a time? Well, we have to play them one at a time right now. We don't. We don't want to get involved in anything, you know, like an injury or something that is a very serious setback. So we're trying to play them one at a time and uh, just wait and see. Lou, thank you very much. Continued good luck. Have a good year. Now let's go back to Keith Jackson. Thank you, Jack. Lou, halftime score, 56-55. The Knicks have the lead. A capacity crowd here at Milwaukee Arena. NBA basketball being brought to you by American Motors and your local American Motor dealer. By REA Air Express. REA Air Express rides again with the fastest delivery of small shipments known to mankind. By the new Papermate PowerPoint, the pen that writes at any angle, even upside down. PowerPoint. And by Mobile, the detergent gasoline that cleans your engine as you drive. We've come to the end of the halftime activities. We'll return for the third quarter of this exciting NBA game in just a minute. NBA game in just a minute. The gift of love we gave for the children that we play. Each precious fleeting moment speaks their name. And the perfect joy of caring almost takes your breath away. Like rings around your heart And the memory makes you treasure more Their gift of love today You love someone, you want to protect them That's love, that's life insurance Lincoln National Life Insurance The gift of love And the gift of love They score at halftime, 56-55. The New York Knicks individual scoring, as you can see, the Knicks hit 24 out of 47 from the field, with Willis Reed getting 22 of those. Walt Frazier has 11. Dave Stallworth, the super sub, had 10. Dave DeBusher, 6. Bill Bradley, 4. And Dick Barnett, 3. The Milwaukee Bucks, Lou Alcindor leading the scoring. The Bucks hitting 24 out of 46 from the field. Both teams shooting over 50% in the first half. Dandridge and McLaughlin with 12 each. Greg Smith, 9. Oscar Robertson, a total of 8. Now in team rebounds, Milwaukee, 27. The New York Knicks, 22. Keith, I tried to pin Al Cinder down in that interview, but he ducked me pretty good. But I want to tell you this is an important game because it sets the tone for the series the rest of the year. And both clubs want to jump out on top and prove their superiority over the other clubs. So uh, that's why we're seeing the hard-fought game that we're seeing here this afternoon. And uh, both clubs have the rest of the season in mind. And, of course, the restructuring of the NBA with the expansion and that extra 300,000 bucks they put into the playoff pool means the team that goes all the way is going to go home with some $16,000 a man. As opposed to about 8500 to to $9,000 a man last year. So it's become a very meaningful consideration, the playoff pool at the end of the year. I noted a moment ago that we had a sellout here at Milwaukee Arena, 10,746. This is the fifth sellout in the last eight home games for the Bucks. So I would uh, dare say the people of Milwaukee have come to enjoy this powerhouse of a basketball team. NFL Monday Night Football on ABC. The Miami Dolphins with their eye on a playoff berth from the Eastern Division of the American Conference against the Atlanta Falcons of the National Football Conference. That'll be nine 
p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ABC. As we get ready for the second half, I note that Bradley and DeBusher have been held down considerably. Uh, Bob Dandridge doing a good job on DeBusher. He only has six points in the first half, and Bradley with four. So Reed has taken away from the forward play, and uh, we can expect to see more forward play in the second half for the Knickerbocker. All right, we're out ready to go with the second half. The Knicks are leading by one, 56 to 55. John McLaughlin, Oscar Robertson, Lou Alcender, Greg Smith. For the Milwaukee Bucks, along with Bobby Dandridge, Dave DeBusher, Bill Bradley, Willis Reed, Dick Barnett, and Walter Frazier for the New York Knicks. Alcender and Reed. On the tip, it goes to Greg Smith, and the Bucks control it in front court. Milwaukee has won 16 in a row, trying to get their 17th straight today. The NBA record for consecutive wins is 18. The Knicks set it last year. Dandridge from 16 feet. Alcindor battles Reed for the rebound, and it's out of bounds, New York. Bill Bradley. Four points in the game. He has three personal fouls. Alcindor is outside with Willis Reed. Ball is lost by Bradley. That's McLaughlin. Foul. Greg Smith trying for the rebound. Loose ball foul Loose on ball Greg foul. Smith, his second personal, and the first second team in the third personal. quarter. New York, first baseline team. or at the side court. Of course, maybe we should clarify. A loose ball foul again. Is any foul off the ball? And the shot is not taken. The team that was fouled gets the ball out of bounds. Dick Barnett, Walt Frazier. The guards for New York. Alcindor's following Reed out a little more as we start the third quarter, Jack. DeBusher gives it to Willis, and Reed misses. Greg Smith the rebound. McLaughlin in front court. Smith. That's Oscar. Almost lost it. Throws it into backcourt. So Lou pursues and picks it up, and the ball goes to the Knicks. Maybe the folks at home can hear over our microphone. We're close to the Knickerbocker bench, and they were hollering, Reed, Reed, Reed. Reed has the hot hand. The ball club wants to get the ball into Reed. Red Holtzman on the New York bench. The Knicks take the ball in front court. Barnett holding the Robertson checking inside to Reed, Alcindor, and the Busher checked by Oscar. It'll be New York's ball. 10.38 to go third quarter. New York 56-55. That's what we had at halftime. Here's the shot by DeBusher. No good. Both clubs cool starting the third quarter of the second half. Oscar down with it. McLaughlin. Dead out of the corner. Misses. DeBusher the rebound. Intercepted by Greg Smith. Robertson. Checked by DeBusher. Alcindor. Over to Oscar, off Smith's screen, got it. 16-footer. 57-56, Bucks back on top, Oscar with 10 points. Barnett and Frazier outside, Walt with it. Reed sets the screen, pass to DeBusher. That's Barnett. Oscar checking Barnett, and they don't get it away as the 24-second buzzer. 24 seconds violation. Bill Walker ball. First time today we've had that. Alcindor missed it. Muscles it up, and DeBusher fouls it. Third foul on Dave DeBusher. Nine and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Milwaukee 57, New York 56. First meeting of the year. Lou 14 points, seven out of 15 from the field. Third personal for Alcindor. I mean for uh, DeBusher. 
Nelson to convert. To make it a two point buck lead. Short off the front rim, Willis Reed, the rebound. He has 10. Reed inside. Triple to tie it at 58 58. Again, a great pass from Walt Frazier. Dick Barnett holding Oscar Robertson. Third personal on Barnett. Second team, New York. Oscar will shoot one time. 9.15 to go third quarter. Score tied 58. Robertson missed it. Reed had the rebound. Smith sneaking up behind him, knocked it out of bounds. New York ball. DeBusher. Now Frazier. DeBusher, top of the key. Basket by DeBusher. Knicks by two. The long pass to Smith. Greg runs it down in the deep corner. In it goes to Lou. Reed checking him. Backs in. Got his basket. Oh, that's tough, Jack. It's impossible to block. You notice how Cinder is not switching on the picks being set by Reed. And as a result, Reed is setting some great picks and getting to Busher and Bradley open for the shot. Score is tied at 60. 8.35 to go in third quarter. Reed, a oh, beautiful left-handed soft jump shot over Al Cinder from 14 feet. Willis has 26 points in the game. Al Cinder loses the ball, and the busher slides out of bounds with it. It'll be Milwaukee front court. Milwaukee ball. Reed with 26, Al Cinder 17, the battle of the big men. Total points as of this moment with 8.19 to go third quarter. Dandridge will play it in. Robertson. Oscar, 17. Good. Both points for Oscar. 62, 62, 8.05 to go third quarter. Frazier. He just flat on Greg Smith out. That's right. Next by two. In the loop. Hooks it over Reed. 19 points for Lou. Score is tied again. There you saw Bradley and Frazier completely leave their men and go in and try and help out on Alcindor. So Oscar Robertson is telling his teammates they've got to start shooting outside to bring that Nick defense out. Barnett. 20 footer. By Barnett. Nick's by two. Five points for Barnett. Inside Alcindor. McLaughlin has room. Got him. 18 footer for McLaughlin. He has 14 points. Bill Bradley. Answer. It's 68 66. New York leads by two. Bradley with six points. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Oscar looks at Lou, goes to Smith. That's Dandridge, checked by DeBusher. On Willis Reed. Elbow. Fine, and it's a two shot foul for Lou Alcindor. And a third personal foul on Willis Reed, and time is called here in the third quarter at the Milwaukee Arena. The New York Knicks are leading the Bucks by a score of 68 to 66. Raise your hand, repeat after me. I, Johnny Bench. I, Johnny Bench. Have switched to Gillette Platinum Plus Blades. Have switched to Gillette Platinum Plus Blades. Because they shave me closer and with more comfort. Me too. Me too? Me too what? They shave me closer and with more comfort too. Now you got it. <laughs> Gillette Platinum Plus. Harder than stainless, more durable than chrome. Double edge or injector. Can I get some Gillette Platinum Plus injector blades for my brother? Sure, John. Thanks. At your local store. Pens were made to write like this, with the point down. But people write like this, or this, with the pen at any angle. Till now, gravity made pens work. They had to be in this position to write. The PowerPoint pen doesn't depend on gravity. Just press, 
and ink is pumped to the ball. It writes at any angle. So get the pen that writes like people. The PowerPoint Pen by Papermate. ABC's wide world of sports will not be seen tomorrow so that we can bring you an exciting NCAA college football doubleheader, Army-Navy, followed by Notre Dame-USC. But next Saturday, an exciting triple header on Wide World of Sports at 6 Eastern, 5 Pacific Time. The Tournament of Thrills Auto Crash Championships from Tampa, Florida. The Lang Cup Professional Skiing Championships from Vail, Colorado. And the World Professional Target Diving Championships from Hollywood Beach, Florida. Next Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. As we look at Lou Alcindor, we've mentioned the Knickerbocker sag as being effective. And the reason it's been effective is because... Be because largely to Bill Bradley. Bradley is guarding Greg Smith. The book on Smith is that he can't hit the outside shot, so Bradley is giving him all kinds of room and clogging up the middle and helping Reed out on Alcindor. Lou gets one out of the two free free throws and uh, totals 20 points in the ball game at 6.45 to go. It is New York 68, Milwaukee 67. The Knicks have the ball. That's Willis Reed. Almost taken away by Dandridge and DeBusher. The open man hits it from about 17 feet, and the Knicks lead by three. DeBusher now 10 points. Greg Smith, Robertson, Alcindor inside against Reed, and he just flattened him. Offensive foul on Alcindor. Boy, he really put Willis down. His third foul on Alcindor. Third personal. That's a little bit of a testing one another, I think, from it's the point of view of there. Psychologically, Reed is getting to Alcindor. He's using his weight, and he's aggravating Alcindor. Greg Smith takes a slide. The shot by Bill Bradley, blocked by Smith, picked off by Alcindor. Greg Smith down, McLaughlin. Alcindor walking down, late to get there. Oscar Robertson looks into Lou, gives instead to Dandridge, and Dandridge has the shot blocked by Reed. That's Barnett from 22 feet. Dandridge the rebound. Willis Reed has been like a forest out there in this third quarter. Oscar. Knicks by one at 5.38 to go third quarter. 14 points for Oscar. DeBusher. And it's DeBusher's foul. Offensively, his fourth. The Bucks get the ball back court. Foul on the pusher. Fourth personal Bucks ball. So Dave DeBusher has four fouls, and Dave Stallworth is off the bench. He'll come in at the first opportunity, undoubtedly replacing DeBusher. Dandridge tries to feed Alcindor. Reed stole it away. Lou coming down the floor. Front court foul. It is on. Greg Smith, second third team foul, personal. third for Smith. You notice Reed is staggering his uh, defensive tactics. One time down, he'll play behind and force Alcindor out. And that last time down, he played him in front. And Bob Dandridge didn't look in before he passed it in, and Reed was right there. In addition to playing Alcindor, he's also doing a fine job of clogging up the middle, preventing the Bucks from driving through for the layup. A great game by Reed. Walt Frazier misses the free throw. Cleared out to McLaughlin. John all the way. The Bucks are back in front, 71 to 75 minutes to go in the third quarter. Frazier checked by Smith. Almost 11,000 suddenly woke up on that drive by McLaughlin. Barnett checked by Oscar. That's Reed over Alcindor. Missed it. And with the rebound. Reed's play inside against Alcindor. So Oscar Robertson starts to work outside. And Oscar now has 16 points and time is called. We have 427 left in the third quarter. Here at the Milwaukee Arena, our score. The Milwaukee Bucks 73, the New York Knicks 70. Dirt deposits rob you of performance and mileage. So you want to help keep your engine clean. But this just isn't the way. Mobile's engine detergent will reduce the buildup of harmful mileage-robbing deposits. 
so don't let excess dirt hurt your car's performance. Use mobile detergent gasoline. It helps keep your engine clean. It's a real thing. The weather turns cool, and along come 500 chores to keep you hot. So you still need real refreshment. What you hoping to find is a real thing. It's a real thing. Twenty-seven to go, third quarter. The Bucks lead the next 73-70. Oscar Robertson, four out of four from the field in this quarter. Keith, we will now see the difference in the Milwaukee Bucks this year as opposed to last year. Last year, they had no one to go to in a tight situation. No one to just stabilize them, to settle them down. They now have Robertson, they have confidence in Robertson, and they look to him to set the offense. The New York Knicks will have the ball. There are the team rebounds. The Bucks have only an edge of three. And Frazier and Barnett bring it down. Greg Smith picks him up in backcourt. Oscar checking Barnett. Dave Stallworth is in the lineup for New York. DeBusher is out. Bradley remains in along with Willis. Inside, it's Reed and Al Sender battling. And the shot is cleared out of there on the miss by Dandridge. Milwaukee has Robertson, McLaughlin, Dandridge, Al Sender. Smith, that is Dandridge. Good. 75-70, the Bucks by five. Smith down, goes on his hands and knees, literally, to pursue Walt Frazier. Foul is on Bobby Dandridge, his third, third team foul on the Bucks. Walt Frazier will shoot one time. Walt has 13 points, he has five assists. He missed it. Al Sinder all the way. Slam dunk for 22 points. 77 to 70. The Bucks have run off nine unanswered points. Bradley trying to look inside. They goes to Barnett. Barnett with a prayer shot. Foul is called on Dick. You know, Keith, I want to make the point. At halftime, Willis Reed didn't even get out there and shoot. He sat on the bench. He was tired. He's playing a great game. But on that last play, you notice he wasn't anywhere near Al Cinder. And we might see Reed getting a little tired here. Dick Barnett has four personal fouls. McLaughlin in the loo. Checked away by Reed. That's Frazier. Bucks have seven-point edge. Dave Stallworth over the top and out. Mike Reardon comes into the ball game, replacing Dick Barnett. The Milwaukee Bucks have scored 10 unanswered points. Reardon checking Oscar in the backcourt. Now Frazier picks him up. Knocked away, but it goes to McLaughlin. Back to Oscar, fakes his man. Shot is up, it is off. Alcindor loses, and Oscar loses, and that's Frazier, and he gets it. That's Frazier. 15 points now for Walt Frazier. Five-point lead for the Bucks. 2.25 to go, third quarter. In the loo. Reed knocks it away. Bearden has it for New York. Dave Stallworth, 16 feet, it's good. 12 for Stallworth, three-point lead for the Bucks. 2.08 to go, third quarter. Mike Reardon and Oscar working against each other. And the foul is called on Oscar. Offensive foul, second personal on Robertson. He got a little aggravated, too, I think, Jack. Lucius Allen, number seven, checks into the ball game, and Robertson will go out for Milwaukee. 
12 turnovers apiece in the game so far. Smith checking Frazier. That's Bradley. Smith picks him up on the switch. And Bradley misses Allen the rebound. That's Dandridge. Inside Galou. He is fouled by Stolworth. That is the second personal on Stolworth and the fourth team foul on the Knicks. And once again, Keith, not to belabor the point, but Reed was trailing Alcindor, so it complicates things for Red Holzman as he doesn't have a capable replacement for Willis Reed. With a minute and 34 seconds remaining in the third quarter here at the Milwaukee Arena, the Milwaukee Bucks lead the New York Knicks 77-74. Je m'appelle Jean-Claude Killy. Quand je descends, je pense à pas mal de choses. Une jolie femme, un verre de vin, une jolie femme. Je ne pense pas à mes jambes ou à mes chevilles. Elles épousent le terrain. Je n'ai pas à penser à mes skis. Ce sont des head skis. REA Express rides again. The story of the big men so far in the game, Willis Reed, for the Knicks, 26 points, 10 rebounds, he's blocked three shots, four assists. Lou Alcindor, 22 points, 11 rebounds, three assists, four blocked shots. 10 out of 17 from the field for Alcindor, two out of four from the line. For Reed, 11 of 21 from the field and four out of four from the line. And Alcindor is on the line right now. Al Two Sindor shots. At the line, two two. First one's clean. 23 points for Lou. A four-point edge for the Bucks, and now five. Bucks are checking all over the floor. Smith steals it. All out. Great defense for the Bucks. Suddenly they blow out to a seven point lead. Frazier checked by Allen. Reardon. Bucks are swarming to the ball. Dandridge on Stallworth. Almost got it. 24 second clock. I couldn't see it. There were so many knees and legs. I couldn't read it, but they had to be getting out of time, and they did run out. And with Lucius Allen in there and Robertson getting a rest, the Bucks now can afford to go to the press. With Robertson, it would be too tiring on Robertson. So Larry Costello wisely making a move. Dandridge, great move. Traveling, however, at 48 seconds to go, third quarter. 81 74, and there's Larry Costello. The coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm out, New York. Time call by the Knicks. You know, ABC Sports has an outstanding weekend of sports coming up, an outstanding array of postseason football games coming this year, too. And certainly you'll be seeing NBA basketball through the winter months. Tough situation for Red Holzman. He knows his center, Willis Reed, is tired, but really doesn't have anybody to spell him. Larry Costello knows Alcindor is tired, but Alcindor at 23 is some six or seven years younger than Reed. But he is substituting Lucius Allen for Oscar Robertson. So in the, at the same time, he's taking advantage of the substitution and getting a younger, fresher Allen in there to press, and it has been effective while he is resting Robertson for the fourth period. In the game, Milwaukee 36 out of 65 from the field in their shooting. New York 33 out of 64, and both of them are still over 50 percent. Monday night, NFL Monday Night Football comes out of Atlanta, GA. We'll be there with the Miami Dolphins of the Eastern Division of the American Conference with a definite ideas about making the playoff, their record six and four, against the Atlanta Falcons. 
of the National Conference. So we have another conference game for you next Monday night at 9 Eastern Time on ABC. But right now you are watching NBA basketball and it's the greatest. The Milwaukee Bucks are leading the New York Knicks 81 to 74, 48 seconds to play. Third quarter, the Knicks have the ball. Bradley, Reardon, Frazier, Stallworth, Reed for New York. That's Willis Reed. Alcindor comes right out with him. Bill Bradley off the screen. Gives it to Stallworth. Dave has a little room and misses. Greg Smith is inside battling with Willis Reed and he loses. He had to. But he gets the outside rebound. Twenty seconds to play. Dandridge from the baseline. In and out. Alcindor. 83-74. 26 points for Alcindor. And 10 seconds to go, third quarter. They'll try for one. Foul call. It'll be the fourth team foul on the Bucks. It is the fourth personal foul on Greg Smith. Walter Frazier will shoot. We're mentioning how tired Reed was. That was a great timeout. Bob Boozer coming in there by Red Holzman. With 48 seconds to go, he he gave Willis a minute rest and allowed him to play 48 more seconds. Now at the turn of the quarter, it'll give Willis another minute and a half. So a good timeout by Red Holzman. Okay, we've had some substitutions. Boozer is in the lineup for the Milwaukee Bucks. Bill Jackson is in the lineup for the New York Knicks. Boozer replacing Boozer the rebound. Now they go to Dandridge. We've got four seconds. Frank Reardon steals it, feeds it ahead to Stallworth, and they cannot get the shot away before the buzzer. So we have come to the end of the third quarter. We'll be back for the fourth quarter tip-off in just one minute. Our score from Milwaukee, the Bucks 83, the Knicks have 74. Meet the Coaches All-America football team tomorrow night on ABC. Here we go with the final quarter of play. The Milwaukee Bucks in white. Lou Alcindor, number 33. The New York Knicks are in the blue. Willis Reed, number 19, will jump in the center circle. For the Bucks, it is Dandridge. It is Boozer. It is Lucius Allen, John McLaughlin. The tip, it goes to New York Dave Stallworth, who looks and gives to Walt Frazier, to Willis Reed, to Mike Reardon, to Dave DeBusher, and it's DeBusher from about 23 feet outside the key. Mike Reardon remains in the lineup for the New York Knicks. Dick Barnett with four personal fouls is on the bench. Inside, it's McLaughlin. Checked by Reardon. Allen. Rebel. There is a turnover. The 15th for Milwaukee. The Knicks have it with 11.35 to go in the game. And Milwaukee leads by seven. That's Willis Reed checked by Lou Alcindor. Willis, so 
Sound move, huh? Goaltending, Dandridge. That was a goaltending. You'll notice the ball was below the basket. But Bob Dandridge pinned the ball against the backboard. You are not allowed to do that. And a goaltending foul was called. Reed gets the basket. 28 points for Willis. Inside to Lou. Over Reed. In and out. And the busher. The rebound after Boozer tried to tip it. Bearden to Reed. Lou couldn't get it. Willis has 30. 83-80. Bucks by three now. Next come back. Robertson off the bench. He'll come back when there's time. Inside the Lou. Double team. Gets his shot away. Tips it. Boozer loses. New York's ball. 83-80. Bucks lead. Allen coming out. Oscar is back in. Now we see the value of Robertson's stability. They've dissipated six points in one minute. Reardon and Frazier are outside. The Busher and Reed are inside. Willis has it. Against Al Sindor. In and out. Lou has a flat-footed rebound, and then it's knocked out of his hands by Stallworth. Milwaukee keeps the ball. 10.32 to go in the ball game. Al Sindor has 13 rebounds. 24 points. Reed has 30 points. McLaughlin looks at Alcindor and fires from outside and reared and rebounds. 83-80 as the Knicks come to the attack. DeBusher. Checked by Boozer. That's a 25-footer and it's good. Boozer is not guarding DeBusher. And Dave can hit that outside shot as he has done the last two times down the floor. And now we see Greg Smith coming. In. A one-point lead for the Bucks, 83-82. Oscar. McLaughlin inside Alcindor. His little hook inside is good. That's virtually unstoppable despite the fantastic defensive job that Willis Reed has done today. 28 points for Lou. He's averaging 32.3 on the season. Foul Robertson. Oscar's third personal. First team foul. Greg Smith, number four, comes back into the lineup. Bob Boozer's out. They've changed assignments. The Bucks are assigning Bob Dandridge to take the Busher because he was so effective in the first half, and Greg Smith will be taking the other forward, Dave Stalwart. Walt Frazier's free throw is good. Nine thirty-five. The score you see. McLaughlin checked by Reardon. Oscar down the lane. Four-point lead for the Bucks. 18 points for Oscar Robertson. The busher checked by Dandridge takes him all the way under, feeds it back to Frazier. The busher. This is badly. Alcindor loses out of bounds as Reed knocks it away, and Willis does look tired. But what a tremendous reserve this man has, and he showed it so dramatically in the championship series last year against the Lakers. Alcindor, no room inside. That's Oscar. McLaughlin. 8.45 to go in the game. The Bucks lead by four. Five seconds on the 24-second clock. The foul is whistled on Danbridge, number 10 of Milwaukee. His fourth personal foul. Fourth personal. The officials are Jake O'Donnell and Mindy Rudolph. The Knicks backcourt. Have the ball as Reardon moves down. Frazier checked by Smith. Reed sets a screen. Greg stopped like he ran into a tree. Reardon. Oh! 87-85. And that's the first point of the game for Mike Reardon. 8-10 to go in the game. Hard collision between Reardon and Robertson. No harm, no foul. Oscar to McLaughlin. That's a 23-footer. And a big tangle inside between Reed and Alcindor. Loose ball foul. It's against the Knicks. No, it's against Alcindor. That's four on Lou. 
second team foul. Reed missed it. Off the front arm. His temper looks like it's getting a little fine, Jack. <laughs> Two point lead for the Bucks. Oscar works his way underneath. Missed it. He missed the cripple. I'll send it. Now Lou has 30 to match Reed's 30. The Bucks are leading by four. 7.25 to go in the game. Reed inside. No. That's my Oscar. Oscar. Charging. That's four on Robertson. Seven minutes and 16 seconds to go in the game. 89, 85, Milwaukee. As New York plays it in in backcourt. Reed charging. Four fouls on Willis Reed. Milwaukee takes time with the timeout. We have seven minutes and eight seconds remaining to play in the game. And our score. Milwaukee 89, New York 85. When American Motors introduced the Gremlin, people found out that it doesn't cost a lot of money to own a car that's fun to drive. The idea has spread all over the country. The Albuquerque 8. The Wichita Wiggle. two-step the Boston bounce the Chicago shuffle six months ago coming out with a car the size and price of the gremlin was a gamble but American Motors took it if you had to compete with the three biggest car companies in America, what would you do? Seven minutes and eight seconds left to play in the ball game. Milwaukee 89, New York 85. This is Keith Jackson, Jack Twyman. You're watching on ABC, the first meeting of the NBA season between these two powers, New York and Milwaukee. And we're seeing quite a battle between Reed and Alcindor, and I think a large part of it is due to the Reed's tiredness. When, when a player gets tired, he starts to grab and lean, and that's what Willis is doing to Alcindor. And Alcindor is retaliating with an elbow. So Reed is tired, and he's uh, trying to take advantage of all his weight and strength and grabbing Alcindor, and uh, uh, Lou is responding. For Milwaukee, these men have four personals. Alcindor, Dandridge, Smith, Robertson. You're allowed six in the NBA. Milwaukee with the ball. Smith, Robertson outside. In it goes to Lou. Willis is still in there. And no basket. Greg Smith went up a little too quickly. A little offensive goaltending. You are not allowed to interfere with that ball when it's in the sphere of the basket. Greg Smith went up there and touched it while it was in the middle of the rim. So New York gets the ball backcourt. Reed, DeBusher, Barnett have four fouls for the New York Knicks. DeBusher checked by Dandridge. Bob has done a pretty good job, but he lost him for a moment. Yet it goes to Stallworth. Stallworth shoots over McLaughlin and gets it. Nice by Stallworth. 14 points for Stallworth. Greg Smith. Oscar in front. Eight seconds on the timer. Oscar lets it go. Rebound to Reardon. Smith down hard in the collision. He's still down. Dave Stallworth. Reardon. Stallworth. Baseline. 16 feet. Good. And it is now a tie game. 89 apiece at 555 to go in the ball game. Keith, as we look at Dave Stallworth, you notice he got hit in the eye when he was double teaming Robertson. The point I'm trying to make is the reason. The Knicks press is so effective. Stallworth is actually ignoring Greg Smith. As we said earlier, the book on Smith is that he can hit the outside shot. And the Knicks are taking advantage of this. 
allowing Stallworth to roam all over the court and double team and help out on the man that can hit the outside shot. In that case, Robertson must have flicked him in the eye with a nail or something. But Stallworth is all over the place, not paying any attention to Greg Smith. We have 5.49 to go in the ball game. It is the 14th time this game has been tied. Alcindor works against Reed. Foul called on Willis. That is five. And Dave DeBusher has been hit in the face. As Alcindor came around, and you saw him raising his hand, trying to be charged with the foul because Dave, the smart player that he is, realizing that if Reed got in foul trouble with Herman, but I think Dave perhaps got a cut. Danny Whalen administering to Dave the busher there. When Alcindor makes that turn, that one elbow is out there and. As you saw, Dave the Busher was in the way, and he caught that elbow flush against the eye. Into the Knickerbocker lineup, number 24. Bill Bradley, number 24, checks in for New York, along with Phil Jackson, who is in at the front line position. Red, Red wants to take Willis out with five fouls. The Busher had to come out, and you see why. Lou Alcindor on the free throw line with a total of 30 points, 15 rebounds, and loses the free throw off the front rim. Reed is out of the lineup. He has five fouls. Alcindor missing the two free throws. It's 89 apiece. Buck running at 535. It's Frazier in front court. Jackson sets a pick. Walt gets his shot away. Missed it. Rebound to Bobby Dandridge. With DeBusher and Reed both out of there. It's a great opportunity for Milwaukee. McLaughlin missing, but Frazier is down inside. Beats Smith for the rebound. Here's Jackson. Whirls and goes all the way. Oh, that was a big basket, Jack. To get the bucket from Jackson, his first of the game, it's Knicks by two. Milwaukee has won 16 in a row, trying for number 17, trying to break the consecutive win mark set for the Knicks last year. Bucks are hot, cold right now as Dandridge misses again with Reed out and DeBusher on the sideline. Dave injured and Reed with five fouls. Knicks just trying to hold him. <laughs> and, and Milwaukee coming down the floor twice with uh, Phil Jackson guarding Lou Alcindor and firing long jump shots. I'm sure Oscar should slow it down. That pass by Dandridge. Are absolutely not taking advantage of the overmatch between Alcindor and Phil Jackson. Now Larry Costello screaming at his team to slow it down and work to Alcindor. Bucks have turned it over 18 times. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Knicks lead by two. Frazier against Smith. Ten seconds on the timer. Jackson against Alcindor. Gets his basket. Basket counts and a foul on Lou. And that foul was a face guarding foul. You are not allowed to stick your hand in the face of the man shooting the ball. He didn't foul him. He just stuck his hand in his face, and that is a foul. The fifth personal on Lou Alcindor and the third team foul on Milwaukee. Jackson will shoot one. He's trying for his fifth point, and he did not get it. Lou rebounds. 4.15 to go. 93 to 89, New York by four without Reed and without the busher. Greg Smith, checked by Mike Reardon. Foul is on Reardon, number six, his second. And the second team foul on the Knicks. Milwaukee has called a time. We have four minutes and eight seconds to play in the ball game here at the Milwaukee Arena. Our score, New York 93, Milwaukee 89. We'll be back for the final exciting minutes of this NBA contest in just a Summer is over, but the good things of summer are still around. The girls, the music, the coke you drank. The real things in life know no season. Dirt deposits rob you of performance and mileage. So you want to help keep your engine clean.
this just isn't the way. Mobile's engine detergent will reduce the buildup of harmful mileage-robbing deposits. So don't let excess dirt hurt your car's performance. Use Mobile detergent gasoline. It helps keep your engine clean. NCAA college football tomorrow on ABC, a doubleheader, Army-Navy, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Philadelphia. Then a live switch across the country to Los Angeles, Notre Dame and USC tomorrow on ABC. ABC's Wide World of Sports will not be seen tomorrow because of the doubleheader. There's the battle between the big men, Jack. A virtual standoff, Keith. Both have 30 points. Alcindor 16 rebounds to 12 for Reed and uh, five block shots to four for Reed. And right here by the New York bench, and it was interesting to hear Red Holzman tell his team to concentrate on helping out Phil Jackson. They know that the Bucks are going to be going to Alcindor, so they're going to be sagging in, trying to help Jackson guard Alcindor. Phil has picked up four points. The Bucks have come down and turned it over three times in a row. And Jackson has put New York ahead by four. Greg Smith on the free throw line has a total of 11 points. He has 10 rebounds. He has five assists. He's played a strong game. Greg missed it. Jackson rebounds. Almost incredible that Milwaukee was not able to capitalize with Reed and DeBusher out of the lineup. We go inside four minutes, 3.55 to go in the ball game in the next lead by four. Frazier with five seconds on the timer. Checked by Smith. Clears the shot at two seconds on the timer and hit it. The Knicks are leading by six. The Bucks have won 16 in a row coming into the game. A record of 17 and 1. Inside to Lou. Got it. And as you mentioned, Keith, they're coming back in this ball game with the Busher and Reed on the bench. Reed with five fouls. The Busher with an eye twice the size of the other eye. Al Sender now 32 points. He has five personal fouls. Willis Reed's on the bench resting with five personal fouls. Stallworth working against Dandridge. Smith double team. But the Knicks keep it as the pass clears to Frazier. Three minutes to go in a ball game. Stallworth out of the corner. Frazier. Jackson and Stallworth. Tremendous inside against Lou on the board. And you notice the Knicks now trying to eat up the clock. They want to take every minute or second they can and try and use up as much of the clock as they can. Frazier checked by Oscar. Bearden, three seconds on the timer. Ball's on the floor. Oscar finally gets a handle. McLaughlin, 225, it's good. 95, 93, 18 points for McLaughlin. Two ten to go in the game. Next by two, Frazier checked by Smith. Oh, Walter. Twenty points for Walt. Two minutes. Two minutes Four to go in the ball game. Al Cinder to Oscar. personal foul that's his first in the ball game and it's the third team foul on the Knicks Bill Bradley leaves and Dave DeBusher returns to the New York lineup 157 to go Lou four out of eight from the line now five out of nine he has 33 points in the game he's right about his season average the Bucks are swarming all over the floor and New York calls time we have a minute, 53 seconds remaining to play in the game at the Milwaukee Arena. Our score, the Knicks 97, Milwaukee 94. Introducing New Leaf, the first menthol cigarette with wintergreen. A taste so cool it gives you a tingle. I ain't had a tingle like this since Sky Booby won the hopeful at 40 to 1. What a horse. New Leaf, you'll taste a tingle. I always said a tingle was something that went up your spine. <gasps> oh. Newly, you'll taste a tingle. Yeah, I taste a tingle. Not a big tingle. Something like two and a half volts. Newly, you'll taste a tingle. We smoke Newly. 
except on Sunday. On Sundays, we smoke it in the attic. <laughs> New leaf, you'll taste a tingle. Don't waste your pity on me, Basil. I've made millions and I've lost them. I've done everything there is to be done in life. You wouldn't happen to have a, a new leaf, old chap? New leaf with wintergreen. A taste so cool it gives you a tingle. Very simply put, we have a minute 53 seconds to play in the ball game. The New York Knicks have 97 points. The Milwaukee Bucks have 94 points. The Milwaukee Bucks, when they came to the arena this afternoon, had a winning streak of 16 consecutive victories. They lost their second game of the season to Detroit. Since that time, they've won 16 in a row. Red Holzman's world champion New York Knicks, the very proud ball club that holds the NB record of 18 consecutive wins. So let's see what happens. Willis Reed is back in the New York lineup with five personal fouls. Dave DeBusher, New York, trying to protect a skinny little lead. And there's two more for Dave Stallworth. And the lead now is suddenly five as Stallworth has scored 18 points. Robertson. Oh, oh one down, jump ball. Walt Frazier. As we're sitting here next to the New York fence, that's exactly what Red Holzman talked about in that timeout. The Bucks were going to be pressing. He said, keep that ball moving around. That's just what they did. Stallworth was open. He put it in. A minute 29 to go in the ball game. The tip goes to Dandridge of Milwaukee. The Bucks are not as mobile at this moment as they have been at other points in the game. In it goes to Lou. McLaughlin out of the left corner. Missed it. The rebound is Greg Smith for Milwaukee. Dandridge, who's been cold in the final quarter, misses again a whistle. Charging on Dandridge. New York gets the ball. Five fouls on Dandridge. A minute and 12 to go in the game. The Knicks by five. Milwaukee Bucks. How about to get their winning streak broken? as they can pull something pretty dramatic here in the next minute. That's Reed. Oh, my, that might have done it. 101 to 94, the top defensive team from New York, the top offensive team from Milwaukee. The defensive team is leading by seven points. 48 seconds, the shot by Oscar is no good, and the rebound is to Busher. Now we hit 40 seconds. It's a seven-point lead for the Knicks. 35 seconds to go. The busher is held by Dandridge. Fourth team foul. Sixth personal oh, foul on Bobby. He's gone. Well, the resourcefulness of the New York Knicks, its starting personnel and its bench, used so brilliantly by Red Holzman, the whole thing seems to still be intact from last year. He's a great coach, and he's got a, a proud ball club. And he came back with Willis Reed on the bench, and that's a credit to Phil Jackson. Jackson coming in there, hitting key, two, four key points. Willis Reed on the rebound, inside, stuffs it. It's 103-94, a nine-point lead for the Knicks. We have exactly 30 seconds to play in the game. Tuesday, January 12, the NBA East-West All-Star Game from San Diego at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you'll see it on ABC. Tomorrow, the Army-Navy, USC-Notre Dame doubleheader. ABC's Wide World of Sports will not be seen tomorrow. We'll be back, however, the following week with a triple header for you. NFL Monday Night Football this week, Atlanta hosting the Miami Dolphins. You know, just looking at the scoreboard and the Knickerbocker defense, you know, they had 55. Milwaukee had 55 points at halftime. They now have 94, so that means New York has held Milwaukee to 39 points here in this second half. And that's a great defensive job. 11 in this quarter, I'm told, by Frankie Block's job. 11 points in the quarter. I remember earlier this season, we sat here and watched Milwaukee score 44 in one quarter against the Phoenix Suns. But today, Willis Reed, really, I think, in that third quarter, Jack, may have kind of depressed Lou Alcindor a little bit. He did such a fantastic job in the third quarter, it had to take a little away. Well, it's still, uh, Keith, the old pro. Willis is a seven-year veteran, and uh, Lou is in his second year, and he used his weight, he aggravated him, and momentarily there, 
Blue lost his composure. All right. The clock going less than 30 seconds now. That's Greg Smith popping one from 16 feet in and out. The Bucks can't buy one. Paul Frazier rebounds it. And the 24 second clock has been turned off. They don't need it anymore because we have only 15 seconds remaining to play in the game. That's Reardon. And the Knicks will just play catch now. They lead 103 to 94. Willis Reed has 34 points. Lou Alcindor, 33 points. Walt Frazier, 20 points. Four of the leading scorers. Willis Reed, 34, and Lou Alcindor, 33 to lead all scoring. Remember tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on ABC, another exciting NCAA doubleheader beginning with the Army-Navy Classic. Immediately following that game, it'll be Notre Dame and U.S.